Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedom and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country. In the courtrooms of America, Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedom. The Department of Defense has a training manual that shockingly suggests that people who believe in states' rights and individual liberties, among other ideals that we share, are extremists and may be part of hate groups. Hi, I'm Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council. Joining me is Matt Barber, vice president of Liberty Council Action. And Matt, uh, this Department of Defense manual has come to light because Judicial Watch has done a FOIA, Freedom of Information uh, request, to the Department of Defense and after several months has obtained this training manual and it is shocking what it reveals. Yeah, the hostility within uh, the Department of Defense, within the Department of Justice, throughout the Obama administration, the the anti-Christian, anti-conservative hostility is is really reaching a boil. We've had a number of instances now within uh, the military and the Department of Defense uh, that really display uh, this hostility. This is the latest, a Department of Defense training manual lists people who embrace, quote, individual liberties, oh, heaven forbid, individual liberties and honor states' rights among the characteristics as potential, quote, extremists and who are likely members of, quote, hate groups. And they, of course, use the Southern Poverty Law Center's po- politically motivated yeah, smear Southern Poverty Law Center is cited throughout this. Throughout this thing. Yeah. And the Southern Poverty Law Center, talk about extremists, an extremist group. They are a fringe leftist group that is in very tight with the Obama administration. Janet uh, Napolitano, a few years ago, you will recall yeah. working hand in hand with her. But uh, this, this, not good stuff. Well, it says the manual goes on to uh, not only identify what these kinds of people are, they call them extremists, a person who advocates the use of force or violence, advocates supremacist causes based on race, ethnicity, religion, gender, or national origin, or otherwise engages in illegally uh, depriving individuals or groups of their civil rights. Well, it sounds like somebody like maybe the KKK would fall into that category. Somebody's using force. But what about... um, Conservative groups, what about Christians? Do they fall in that category as well? You wouldn't think so, but according to this, they do. They go on to, in fact, not only do they fall in the category, but the founding fathers fall in this category as well. And in fact, they actually cite the founding fathers. And as an example, uh, they describe uh, extremist ideologies and they describe the American colonist who sought independence from British rule as a historical example of extremism. The founding fathers were extremists. Yeah, this is in our military and, and in the Department of Defense. And we wonder why um, America under this Obama administration has become a laughingstock around the world and is viewed as weak and and uh, that we have no resolve because we're our own founders are a bunch of right wing extremists, according to uh, radicals that are controlling the reins of government yeah. within the Obama administration. And here's what they actually say. It says uh, in U.S. history, there are many uh, examples of extremist ideologies and movements. The colonists who sought to free themselves from British rule and the Confederate states who sought to secede from the northern states are just two examples, according to the training manual. Now it goes on to say that these extremists, they sometimes uh, often predict dire or catastrophic consequences from a situation or from failure to follow a specific course. And it specifically speaks about um, earthquakes or floods or the wrath of God. I guess the uh, this Jesus' mes- message in, in the Gospels about there'll be uh, earthquakes in, in many places I guess that's extremist ideology. Yeah, of course, they're, they're trying to tie, make false comparisons and connections where there are none to, to Christianity here, clearly. Uh, and, and here, re, uh, this, this part gets me. Nowadays, the manual explains, quote, instead of dressing in sheets or publicly espousing hate messages, many extremists will talk of individual liberty, state rights, and how to make the world a better place. <laughs> <laughs> that's extremism. Talking about individual liberties and how to make the world a better place uh, it makes you akin to and states the KKK rights. and, and, and sheet-wearing haters. This Obama administration, Matt, is so 
far off the deep end that I don't know if there's if there's any returning. I, it, it's absurd. Yeah, it, yeah. It says instead of dressing in sheets or publicly espousing hate messages, this is what they do. Uh, <clears throat> they believe in individual liberties. I mean, it's unbelievable. And then they cite, guess who? The Southern Poverty Law Center's hate map. Well, guess who's on that hate map? Well, it's Family Research Council, an organization that's a pro-family organization in Washington, D.C. American Family Association. American Family Association. Uh, you have, uh, in fact, Floyd Corkins, who was just recently uh, convicted, and he's serving a prison sentence now, because he came into the Family Research Council office in Washington, D.C., intent on killing as many people as he could and rubbing Chick-fil-A sandwiches in their face because of the fact that the Chick-fil-A founder said that he believes in marriage as the union of one man, one woman. That's hateful. Of course, that's hateful according to at least the Southern Poverty Law Center. They think that if you believe in marriage as one man, one woman, you're part of a hate group. And uh, so therefore, Floyd Corkins bought into this lie. He found out where FRC was located. He confessed that he was inspired to do it from the Southern Poverty Law Center's hate map yeah. and researched and found out the FRC. And because of, the, because of the Southern Poverty Law Center's characterization of FRC, he went in and shot up the, to shoot up the place to and shoot kill as place. many people as possible. And then rubbed Chick-fil-A sandwiches. And it wasn't just uh, FRC he was after. He was after some other groups as well, also that were on the Southern Poverty Law Center's hate map, yeah. pro-family groups. Yeah, this, this is in keeping, perfect keeping with this Obama administration. You'll recall in 2012, a Department of Homeland Security funded study came to light that uh, characterized Americans who are, quote, suspicious of centralized federal authority. In other words, federalists, people who want to see uh, the power as the 10th Amendment guarantees, uh, resting with the states and, and, and only the enumerated powers to, to the federal government, certainly, uh, and, and people who uh, are reverent of individual liberty, again, as, quote, extreme right-wing terrorists, uh, like, like our founding fathers. So, you know, those of us who would like to see us get back to a constitutional Republican form of government and, and recognize and, and uh, uh, adhere to the original intent of our founding fathers who framed the United States Constitution. In other words, those who revere the United States Constitution are right-wing extremists. Well, that's what they've been saying all along. Here, the Department of De Defense is making it official. Well, and you may have uh, remembered a report that we did on faith and freedom earlier this year regarding a slide presentation that was given at a uh, military reserve. And in that military reserve slide presentation, the PowerPoint, we have it. It actually lists extremist organizations. And right at the very top, it has uh, evangelical Christians being as part of uh, extremists. And Catholics. And Catholics. Those are uh, extremists to watch. Why? Because they believe in God. They believe in making the world a better place. They believe in uh, individual liberties and freedom. They believe in family and the sanctity of human life. And under this administration, uh, it makes you an extremist. You know, when President Obama got his second term, and before he got a second term, I talked about how um, problematic a second term would be with this kind of administration. And it has been as much or maybe even worse than I thought it would be because he is literally trying to remake America. And it's time for you and I to stand up and say, this is not going to be uh, a country that's going to go down the tubes on President Obama's watch. We're going to stand in the gap and make a difference. Yeah, and, and we're in year one. <laughs> We've got three more years uh, of this kind of persecution and hostility toward uh, individual liberties and free exercise and this swelling of our federal government encroachment on the rights of, of Americans, talking about the rights of Americans, the rights of military personnel and employees of the Department of, of Defense. This manual that we're talking about here says that you are precluded from taking part with and, and being involved with any organization that is is uh, among these hate groups or right wing extremists, citing the SPLC throughout. That means the Family Research Council. Yeah, they, they're they telling can't, they can't volunteer, they can't serve on a board, uh, and they be can't involved. Do, they can't uh, give contributions to them to the family research council. The family research that is council. Chilling. Or American Family Association. That, that is chilling. I mean, that that is right out of uh, you know uh, Mao's China. I mean, what country are we living in? If a conservative president were to do this, the media would be up in arms. But the media is complicit. At least the mainstream media is complicit with allowing this kind of uh, travesty to our liberties to continue. Go to Liberty Council's website. Uh, we'll continue to keep you informed on this and many other issues as well. 
And that website again is lc.org. Ask for some of our resources right there and be part of our solution, the Pastors and Patriots Initiative. And part of that is to establish a salt and light council in your church. If you have an interest in establishing a salt and light council in your church, uh, then we, uh, if we have enough people in your area, we'll provide a training so that you can establish a ministry in your church to inform your pastor and mobilize the people in your congregation to stand up for our liberties to be a true patriot for such a time as this. Go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org. You have been listening to Faith and Freedom with Liberty Council. We hope that we have motivated you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedom. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email updates. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.